Good morning! Today I'm at East Midlands and we're going to be going to Salou in Spain. I'm going to be going through the terminal duty free and then finally onto the plane and then we'll be going all the way down to Salou. So come on then. <laughs> Okay, we just finished having a Starbucks while I did, and we are in duty free. Being nosy, we've got about, I don't know, 40 minutes before our flight. Let's have a look. Yeah, so we take off at 9.40. So yeah, 50 minutes actually, we've got a while, so time to kill. This book's giving you a side eye as you walk around WH Smith. Just wanna give some love to licorice all sorts, because pick up licorice all sorts, one of the best sweets that you can get. Okay, our plane has been called, so we're gonna head over there. We've got some loads of time to kill, so there's not a big rush. I've also got Caleb with me, say hello Caleb. Hello. So yeah, we'll see you on the plane. So we just boarded here on the Ryanair flight, me and Caleb here. We've got a, a window seat, Takeoff is like in 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Uh, although I think most people are actually on to be honest. Um, so yeah, we'll see you when the plane takes off.
Right, we have landed. We're on the uh, we're just right. heading into arrivals. Uh, 25 minutes early. Uh, it wasn't the smoothest land in the world. Uh, however, it's blue sky. It's beautiful. It's a lot better than being in the UK where it's cloudy and miserable. Okay, did you enjoy the flight? Ah, oh, it's brilliant. We even managed to cut a bit of time off. Yeah, 25 minutes, mate. I'm surprised I did that. That's, that's brilliant, to be honest. No complaints. Go on, Kayla, get yourself a leaf. Yeah, and Bruce said what they do have. Port of entry reception. So we're going to get our transfers and then we'll get out of here. We've arrived in Salou. It's a little bit wet now. Um, we've just had food at La Teca. It was very, very nice. I had a salmon. Kayla was a little bit boring, he had a burger. Um, oh. I had an amazing dessert, by the way. And it was very fairly priced. The guy there, someone just drops it. The guy there is an absolute legend, by the way. Very friendly service and it was brilliant. Um, I love seafood, so it's quite the compliment. I'll post some pictures for you right now. We've sort of an hour to kill until we can get into our apartment. But yeah, having a a great start, to say the least, so other than the rain. So the beach is extremely quiet right now, which is very pleasant. The rain has stopped, it is trying to rain. But yeah, it's very, very quiet. If I just show you around here, over Caleb, it's extremely quiet. And yeah, the waves are nice and calm. Very relaxing if you're into this kind of thing. I've also got this nice wooden thing to walk out on. We've got about 25 minutes to kill and then we can uh, go to our apartment. So we are in our apartment. This is apartment in the soul. It's pretty good to be honest and you'd be surprised about how cheap it was. So yeah, let me show you around. So first thing is we have a kitchen, which overlooks a massive palm tree. We're on the first level, so nothing crazy to tell you. We've got a pool down there, which is accessible. Oh, it's a good as an apartment. You have the oven, you also have a fridge, which is absolutely massive, by the way. We have a microwave up there. There's obviously nothing, nothing complimentary as you'd expect, to be fair. Um, you have your spoons, forks, all that kind of stuff. The sink, the bin, that's always a good sign. Coffee machine in the corner as well. Again, you'd be very, very surprised how cheap this was near the end. As you come into the main room, the living room, get a lovely view over the palm tree. There's loads of windows in there, which makes the place even better. There's loads of natural daylight. And obviously there's a pool. We have a balcony as well, which I'll show you uh, very shortly. You have your bed there, you have your little table there. Dining table. You also have a TV, which is good. There's free Wi-Fi as well, if that is something you're interested in. But yeah, loads of space. So uh, spacious, loads of room. You have a phone over here. It's a bit old. Looks older than me, to be honest. Yeah, really old. I mean, it's not even gone back on properly. That's not a good sign. There we go. So there's two bedrooms. Your first bedroom is two singles. Okay, you've got a huge wardrobe. And obviously this looks over into the balcony. Obviously I apologize there's a bit of an echo. There's loads of plugs everywhere, which is again, always a good sign. Um, and the only issue is this wardrobe hits the bed. So that's not the best design in the world. There is a safe in the other room, which I'm about to show you. However, first, we do have the bathroom, which has a very interesting part to the bathroom. Well, this is quite standard, I know, abroad, but <laughs> nonetheless. It is a shower bath. As the tiles look like they've seen better days. And the shower, in terms of how clean it is, it probably could have been maybe polished a bit more. I don't really think I can complain though at the price, yeah. If we the taps, looks like I could do a bit of a wipe, but I guess it's just one of them things. You have your toilet. Not a big fan of this colour, I have to admit, even with the price, I do think the colour's a little odd. Although, looking over here, the tiles are very nice, so it's just maybe where the 
moisture and stuff from the showers got to. Uh, it looks like a bit of a, like a jail kind of window over here though. Uh, I guess that goes over to the balcony. Huge mirror, nice and clean this is, considering, and the tap is over here as well. Considering how clean this tap is and the, the mirror, I'm very surprised over how they've not bothered over here, but you know, nonetheless. Throughout here is the double room, which is a bit of AC as well before you get into it. And this is how you get to the balcony, by the way, which I'll show you in a minute. Double bed, quite firm. Two pillows, quite, uh, or is it actually one pillow maybe? I was gonna say two pillows. No, it is two pillows, it's the linen's over it, so yeah, two pillows. And then you have a huge wardrobe, absolutely huge wardrobe. Let me just show you this. Yeah, I'm generally not kidding when I say it's huge. There's three different doors and they are massive. You can literally fit multiple people into the wardrobe. And it even has the floor carried on inside. Uh, but you can genuinely fit multiple people quite easily into that wardrobe. So the balcony is connected to the door room and also there's Caleb himself but that is connected to the living room and again these are the windows to the bathroom and the two singles which you can see up in there. You have a table out here as well and you have some more chairs if you wish. Alright, so this is the view. It'd be probably better if we had one of the rooms up at the top, but it's still good nonetheless. The pool looks like it does have bits in, so I don't think they've actually got this ready for uh, this part of the season, but it is in April. There is a washer here. This looks like a very odd setup, to be honest. Not sure how normal this is. Yeah, very nice, to be honest. Definitely worse views that you could have. In the wardrobe, you do have your safe, which obviously your passport and stuff, you have a couple of coat hangers very random, looks like sort of been left again paints had seen better days probably in there and obviously you have some extra towels pillows um, so yeah that's sorry, it's a good thing in case you wanted more than one pillow now I did mention there was a different entrance into the building complex There's also a dog that isn't very happy at the moment but yeah, that balcony is very nice. Yeah, it's, a, it's a decent little view of the palm trees and into the pool. But yeah, overall this room is pretty nice. There's obviously a couple of things that aren't so great, but with the price that I'm about to tell you, you cannot complain. Okay, so how much did I pay for the apartment? You'd be very surprised that I paid 175 euros for three nights. Now this three nights includes a pool, obviously your entire apartment and is for two people. You could very easily fit more into this apartment and it's in a great location as well in Salou. Now that does bring it to an end our Salou travel vlog from East Midlands Airport. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash that like button and subscribe because it helps me massively and turn that notify bell so you don't miss any videos from this trip of ours. We're we'll going to be going to Port Ventura for three different days and checking out Froyland to get on the Europe's tallest and fastest coaster, which I can't wait to do with Caleb. Now, thank you for watching. Have a good day and I'll see you later. Goodbye.